For a long time, Apple made power adapters like this. Integrated cables and little flip out wings so that you could wrap the cord when you weren't using it. Today you get this. Removable USB-C cable right here which is nice, but there's no integrated wire management with this power adapter. That's a problem that needs a solution. My name is Eric Stein. I'm an industrial Welcome designer. Welcome to my channel about product design and making. So for any three-dimensional object that you want to develop, you're gonna start with some sort of a drawing or some sort of a mock-up so that you can visualize what it is you're gonna make. In this case, we're gonna do a quick design sketch on top of a photograph of an existing USB-C power adapter. And we are trying to replicate the functionality of the old school Apple power adapters with the flip out wings. You can watch the full length sketch video, link above here on the right. And this is the final design that we're gonna model in 3D next. I start by measuring my existing 87 watt USB-C power adapter and trying to guesstimate the radiuses of the existing unit so I can get my model to fit correctly. So we're trying to replicate this functionality with the flip out wings. I'm gonna use a one millimeter piece of piano wire as the hinge to make the wings flip out. And we're gonna to try to replicate all the features of the old power adapter so that you can get your finger in there to actually flip the wings out. And of course, we're gonna have that hole so that you can still plug in your existing USB-C cable that way you can cable up your wire or put in a different longer or shorter cable should you need it. Let's go to Cura and print this on the Ultimaker after it's been sliced up. This is my first print. I'm printing it in PLA. I think it's about a 15 hour print and we're printing it at a 0.04 nozzle size. So we'll get some good fidelity and we should be able to test things out and see fit and finish, et cetera, et cetera, and what the fit is like onto the existing power adapter. A little bit of cleanup is needed due to the way that I printed it and I use a little nail trimmer. I think that's what these things are. And I use a scraper. I don't like to use sandpaper for this stuff, and I usually scrape things out with a card scraper. I'm gonna cut my piano wire with a cutoff wheel since you can't really cut this with a pair of pliers. I need to chase out the holes that were printed. The smallest drill bit I have is a one millimeter drill bit. I've since ordered some new ones that are much finer for future use, but that's all that I had. And I'm also using a piece of this piano wire to help me core out the holes. So let's push in the piano wire. It's a pretty snug fit. Uh, in this case, the only piano wire I had at the moment was a little bit over a millimeter. So it's a little thicker than I anticipated, but it ended up working for the prototype and for testing purposes to sort of see how things worked out. I'm pretty pleased with this. I'm not super happy with the location of the USB, so we're gonna adjust that a little bit and increase some of the tolerances so the wings don't bend back quite as far as they do on the first prototype. The cable still snaps in and it works, but it's a little too tight for me. We wanna give that a little bit more play. Let's test out wrapping the wire so we can test the functionality and it seems to be working very nicely. All wrapped up and I'm very pleased. I think we need a little bit of a cable connector at the end, just like the old Apple laptops used to have so that we can snap the cable on and we're gonna make some adjustments to the 3D model to tighten things up and have a little bit less tolerance for the wings to bend back and we're gonna get the USB-C opening in the right place. I'm gonna print the final one in orange, of course, because I make a lot of stuff in orange and I really like that color. I think it's gonna be nice on the existing Apple power adapter. Again, this is a PLA print and I printed it in a different orientation. Super easy to clean up. 
This gave me a nice cleaner exterior that I didn't have to mess with. I was a little concerned and I thought all those supports were going to be a problem to remove. But as you saw, they literally snapped right out. And that was a blessing because I also got a really nice clean exterior. So probably the hardest part of this thing so far is chasing out the 3D printed holes. I'm starting out with the thinnest piece of metal that I have, which is a piece of piano wire less than the one millimeter drill bit that I have. So I ended up going with a piece of uh, piano wire that was a little thicker than I wanted, um, but it's what I had. So I used this thinner, smaller piano wire to help me core out the holes first. And then I'm gonna come in with my one millimeter drill bit and chase everything out to final and finish cleaning it up in the end. This ended up working out pretty good. I wish that I had had the correct drill bits at the time. I've since ordered some and I won't be unprepared next time, but this is the best that I could do when I was pulling this project off and it ended up working out pretty good. It just took a little bit longer than normal if I had had the correct drill bits. So I find that doing this stuff by hand works better than with a machine. You see, I just have a piece of wood and I have super glued the drill bit into the piece of wood. So I turn and twist the bit by hand and I find this just easier and more manageable for this kind of fine drilling uh, with a drill bit like this. After I round off the ends of the piano wire so that I can't hurt myself in the future, I slide them into the unit to make the hinges for the wings to pop up. Very nice. Got the USB centered correctly and enough space for the cable. It works well and there's not a lot of play and the wings don't flip back too far. Slides on nice and tight and is a snug fit. The USB-C cable attachment snaps right into place and there's no restriction there. Easy to plug in, works as it should and is intended to work. Let's make a little cable snap so that we can wrap up the cable at the very end after we're done wrapping it around those wings. I model up something quickly in the computer and we're going to print this out with a flexible PLA using a .025 nozzle. It gives you a really nice finish, almost no build lines, could be an injection molded part if you didn't look real close. There's the part, turned out nice. Probably took less than 30 minutes to print that. Very nice little piece. Has a little bit of flexibility in it. That's a really nice thing. So I always keep a couple rolls of this flexible PLA on hand. Great for prototyping and doing these types of parts or for things that have living hinges where you need some flexibility, almost like a TPU molded part. So great, great thing to have for prototyping. I definitely encourage you to have a spool of the soft PLA in your tool bag to use for prototyping. Snap that on there. Very nice. All done. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hey, and don't forget to follow me. I'm on Facebook, Twitter usually, and now Instagram. Rock on. Click here.
to check out some of the other design and making videos that I have that you might enjoy.